Gilbert Strang is something of a celebrity in mathematics. No, he hasn't published any revolutionary theories, and no, he doesn't have a Fields Medal. He does, however, teach MIT OpenCourseWare's 1806. The 18 indicates it's a math class. But there are a lot of classes on MIT OpenCourseWare, differential equations, multivariable calculus, but none of them get the kind of appreciation and hype that Strang's class does. People seem to appreciate his class the same way people appreciate a novel or a favorite movie. How did it come to be that a linear algebra class, and not, say, a calculus class, became so beloved by the math community? I'm an actor, not a mathematician, but I love math, and I studied Strang's lectures online. At first, I was a bit underwhelmed and didn't understand what all the hype was about, but by the end, I not only learned a lot about linear algebra, but was reminded of so many of the fundamentals of public speaking as an actor. Today, in this video, I'm going to break down why I believe Strang's class is so famous. Strang is a confident lecturer, and by this I mean truly confident. Strang has decades of teaching experience and has written a few textbooks on linear algebra. I don't know why the author put these in here. Okay. Uh... He knows what works, not by talent or anything innate, but because he's tried and failed over and over again. At the beginning of each class, he lays out a clear structure of what he'll cover. This way, if he gets off track, he knows where the track is. Not to mention, his students know what to expect of him, too, and that holds him to account. Uh, two important things to do in this lecture. One is to correct an error from Lecture 9. If you want to give a speech or communicate any message, you have to have a structure and confidence. You have to know going in what you want to do, what you can do, and that only can come from observation or experience. It's tempting to jump in and go to the rhetorical flourishes and pithy sayings, but what you need is competence, familiarity with the subject, and preparedness. This is what Strang does. I don't know what you've been told, but you cannot fake it till you make it. Nobody really can. You can copy off of people, imitate what success looks like, but when it comes to actual, authentic success, it has to come from within. As an actor, oftentimes, I would indicate what I believed my character would do in a situation, or try to perform an image for the audience. My teachers very kindly told me that this is in acting called indicating, and it's different than actually embodying an emotion, going somewhere. When it comes to teaching, the emotion is interest. The only way a teacher can make the students interested in the subject is to be interested themselves. Strang clearly loves teaching, and he likes students. Well, first I like students, and I want to help. When he inevitably does make a mistake, as all of us are bound to do, he handles it with grace. Oh, I should have figured out in advance what it was. Shoot. Most famous lines in Hollywood are short. If you're trying to get a message across, you want to boil down the essentials into as small a space as possible. But when someone has developed a knack for doing this, they like to show off a little bit. To show you what I mean, I'm going to talk about Oprah and the Cuisinart. Early on in Oprah's show, when she wasn't the icon she is today, she took a risk one episode. She brought a Cuisinart from home and asked her studio audience to help her operate it. A woman came up from the audience and actually showed her how to work it. Now, most people watching this might react with incredulity. Oprah's just a fraud. She just did random things on television. But if you've ever done hair and makeup, gone under those white hot lights on live TV in front of possibly millions, you know it's not easy. To take something so everyday and personal from her day-to-day -day life shows that even early on, Oprah knew what made compelling television. It isn't the magnanimous Oprah episodes we know today, but it did one very important thing that is fundamental in television. 
it made people watch. And what Oprah did to television, Strang does to the lecture. A viewer gets the feeling that this is how he understands the math, as he thinks through it. Oh, what am I saying? Let me just say it in words. Math is thought of as a very in-and-out binary subject, and there's merit to that view. But there are elements of style and presentation that are subjective and do matter. When it comes to teaching, it isn't only the content, it's everything around it. Maybe you don't like math, and I don't blame you, but I encourage you to watch just one lecture from Strang's class and try to learn something, even if that something has nothing to do with math.